Hi guys, it's Matthew coming at you with another success story that I really wanted to share with you guys because I feel like this is a huge topic for so many of us. It's like we all know that we have all this suppressed anger and rage and all this within us. And it's like, well, what do we do about it? What does that look like to actually express? How do I get to that point? And all that good stuff, right? So I am going to be getting into that in just a second. But first, I'm just going to share this into a few groups um, just so that we can really kind of spread the awareness because I think this is something that is so important. Um, so bear with me just a second. I'm just going to be sharing this around in a few groups. If you guys feel called to also share, I think this is going to help so many people. So feel free to share away at this point. But I'm going to share it on my page. I'm going to share it in my group and also in the Teal Tribe group as well. So I want everybody to be able to participate in this because I know this is something that I feel like we have so many questions around and I really want to talk about it. I want to put it out there. Um, so if you're here with me live or even watching the replay, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're here. Who's watching? I would love to know. Please say hi. And just so you guys know, if you're just popping on, I'm just sharing this into a few groups. Hi, Hannah. Hi, John. Nice to have you guys here. I am going to be talking about anger and rage in just a second. Um, just really witnessed something phenomenal um, in a session that I just finished. And just like, you know, when it's so fresh, like I just feel like I have to share it in the moment. So that's my goal. Um, let me just get this into one more group here and we're good to go. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Priscilla. I love you too. Cool to have you both here together. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, So Young. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Okay, I'm going to post this in one more group, you guys, and then I'm going to jump into this. If you guys are just jumping on, let me know that you're here. And we have something really important to talk about. So this is all about suppressed anger and rage. And what I just finished up was a session with the client um, where we do shadow work slash completion process because I kind of just blend that all together at this point because I feel like it's important to have, you know, a wide range of toolkits available to help anybody with whatever they're coming to you with. So um, essentially, this has been something that's been a work in progress for us. Okay, so to kind of preface this, um, this particular client and I work together pretty frequently and this is something that, you know, we've been chipping away at for quite some time. So this was the big breakthrough that I was like, yes, like you just want to like celebrate afterwards, you know? Um, so I really want to get into some of the details about that and kind of how that led us to having that breakthrough today. Right? So basically what was going on was whenever we would have sessions about things that basically he didn't feel okay about, um, there was just no access to those emotions whatsoever. Um, and what really was the, the catalyst or the stimulus to really get us to this point was Teal Swan's, one of her latest videos, I'm not sure if it was like the most recent video, but it was a video on how it's okay to not be okay. Um, and basically what that video tells you is basically the dynamic that was set up for you in your upbringing, um, in your childhood, that basically taught you that feeling things that aren't okay um, aren't good. You're either shamed out of it, invalidated out of it, um, and just basically told that like, you can't be that way. Like you have to stuff that down inside. Like, no, that's not acceptable. We're not going to give you attention, love, or meet your needs if you're like, like this. Um, and basically also, um, it's, it's often found in families where one or more of the parents are narcissists. Um, so what that essentially means is like these parents are using these children essentially to find their own comfort for themselves. So um, a good terminology that um, Teal used in that video was basically these children, um, or us for example, if we suffered from this dynamic as well, were like an emotional buoy. So as soon as like the parent was feeling better again based on them getting their needs met through the child and not actually being there for the child and their best interests, they would be dismissed, right? So the parent was no longer paying attention to them. They were gonna go off and do their own thing because they got what they needed from their child. So it was like, they're using their children for themselves um, and, and actually not being there, not seeing them, not hearing them, and then also making parts of them not okay. Like it's so screwed up. Um, so if you guys feel called to wanna learn more about that, I highly recommend you see that video. 
But um, essentially in the case here that I just witnessed, um, this was the case. And coming into that awareness that like he had this dynamic literally since day one of life um, really brought up huge trigger. Like that was just not cool. That was not okay. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned, like we've been really, really, really like peeling back these layers to be able to get to this point relative to other things. But because we were doing that work and like making progress and like poking holes essentially, right. Where like light was shining through, but it wasn't like that complete picture. Like it wasn't able to be fully expressed. It was like, we can take a peek through the hole and see like maybe what it could be like to do that, but we weren't having that experience yet. Um, so basically when like you are made to not be okay with expressing certain emotions, obviously they're going somewhere, right? So where is it that they're going? They're going to your subconscious um, where they still live and are still being, you know, focused on on a subconscious level as opposed to a conscious level. And this is why we see so many acts of violence in this world. It's because the anger that's being expressed, the rage within them is unconscious reactivity. It's not a conscious expression of that anger. Um, so that's why so many awful things, unfortunately, happen in this world is because of dynamics just like this, you know? Um, hey, Dustin, so glad you're talking like this. Yeah, thank you. This needs to get out there, you know? Like, this is important. You know, if you're a human, this probably applies to you in some way, you know? So it's all about, like... Well, how do we navigate that? So this is what I wanted to talk about today. Um, but like, here's what ensued, right? So basically we came into the understanding that this is the way that it is. And we basically got into all the ways that not only this affected him in childhood, but this client of mine like still lives with his parents where this is, I'm sorry, parent, I'm sorry, the narcissist mother, where this is still active. It hasn't stopped because it's not like this person has come into awareness of their dynamic that they've basically bestowed upon their child aka my client who i'm now helping through this hey carrie so what we did was we identified all the ways that that was the case and like basically went into like well how does that feel you know like obviously not good but we really need to identify like how that caused you to feel um and get into like the discomfort of it in order to explore what's really underneath it um, so like for a while, I kind of used this reference of like we were skating on the ice rink, but we didn't actually like look to see what was underneath the ice. Like we needed to like find a crack and like really go dive deep and explore. Um, so yeah, so basically this is, this was just like an act of inspiration. I've never actually done this with anyone like myself or a client yet, but Teal also had made a video called play it forward. And I'm not sure if you guys, um, have heard or seen that video yet. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen it. Um, John says it seems to be all too common and I'm glad you're calling it out. Yeah, dude, like this is everywhere. This is, this whole world is rampant with this dynamic and it is not okay. Um, and it's okay to not be okay with this. This is all about like expressing what's truly there. Um, when you come into this realization and you feel pain about it, it's because the pain's already been there, but you're letting it surface, right? So if we're not going to look at this pain and we're going to shove it away or sweep it under the rug, it's, it's not going to disappear. It's still there within you. That's the thing that a lot of us miss out on is that understanding of like, well, if we don't deal with it, oh, maybe I just won't have to like, you know, feel how painful that is. But you know what? Like part of you is, you're just not conscious of it. So it's like taking that step to actually let yourself be with that. Um, but with that aside, going back to this um, specific example, Carrie says, I watch her videos every night. That's awesome. Like way to keep your vibe super high. <laughs> but uh yeah, so basically what we did in the moment was the play it forward exercise. And the way that that looked in this particular session was we basically began a session. For me, like I begin sessions with having a client close their eyes because what I've found is that when you have your eyes closed, you're so much more tuned to what's going on in your internal world. And by keeping your eyes closed, you can really stay in touch with that and really go deeply in there. So I always begin when we explore emotions with the closing of the eyes. Um, so from that space we basically talked about how all of these things that have happened to him in his life because of this dynamic have affected him negatively. And then basically like leading up from what it was like as a child to the present day moment, right? So what happened before leading up till now and like all the shitty situations and like the momentum of emotions was building and building and building and building as we went from like, you know, day one of birth um, to the present moment today, February 16th. Um, so in that moment when we got to the present day moment, then I was like, okay, like my mind was like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. We're going to go to the play it forward exercise. And what happens is basically you, you walk them through, or if you're doing this on yourself, you're walking yourself through um, scenario where if, if nothing changed, 
So if like nothing actually changed with this and you're just sitting in the awareness that this is your reality, then you play it forward by looking at what tomorrow would look like if nothing changed and this was still your reality. And then you like feel into that and you sit with that and you go further. What if you had to live this way a month from now? What would change? What would get worse? And then you go to a year. Imagine yourself being in this for another freaking year. How bad does it get? And you go to five years and you can continue going on until you're at your freaking deathbed. And you really get to see like how this affects you. And it's like how you are so done with it. That's basically like where we allowed the anger to come out because, and, and for me, like as your coach or as your, your guide, right? Like I'm really trying to help this unearth within you so you can express it because it's been dying to be expressed your entirety of your life, you know? Um, and, and another thing I want to get into, I'll probably talk about this afterwards. is like why we're not able to do this, but like, let's just like bookmark that for a second. Um, and what I want to talk about is like what we had to do. So basically like we were trying to get into the feelings of what it was like for this to never change. And you can see with like, each um, time we were going forward in the future, it was like building up this momentum, like like stronger and stronger. And you can, it almost felt like a fucking like volcano was gonna erupt, you know? And, oh man. So when it got to like, I think we had, we stopped it at like five years because like at that point it was like ready to explode, you know? So I'm like, well, are you okay with this? Like, is this okay? Are you done with this? You, can you live another day like this? You know? And it's like, just really letting this erupt. And man, like it finally happened. Like he finally got to not be okay in those emotions and let that stuff out, like get it out, discharge that energy. That's the thing we don't really often get with, with emotions, like anger and rage. Like, yeah, you can like sit there in a mental construct and watch a different version of yourself express it. But like, it's such an outward moving energy. It's like an outgoing force that just needs to be let out. And when you can do so, it's like you're, you're getting rid of it. It's almost like an emo not an emotional exorcism in the sense that like you need to get rid of anything. But what I'm saying is like, you're discharging that like, force like it's like that pressure because it's been built up and stuffed down for so 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 long and what you're doing is you're giving yourself permission in a conscious way in a conscious way where we're in a safe space in a safe container to let this out but you're taking the cork off and that's the difference between what other people do with their anger and violence and what we're doing is we're actually doing this consciously to express this because we're understanding what's going on here and we understand emotions and why this is actually going to be helpful to move through because what a lot of people will think it's like if, well, if you let yourself go to that space are you going to be stuck in anger and rage and like okay yeah now you're feeling angry and now you're going to go burn down your neighbor's house then you're going to go like shoot up a school you're like no it doesn't work that way because you're actually discharging the emotions and what a lot of us don't realize because we're not taught this is that when you actually let yourself go in the direction of painful feeling emotions by virtue of you expressing them and discharging that energy you automatically go up into a higher vibrational state you you climb the vibrational ladder by virtue of letting yourself be where you're at so um to kind of give you like the the way it looked like the laptop that he was doing the session with, with me, like was flung across the room. Like I had a good view of the ceiling, but I got to hear everything. And basically there was like intense screaming, yelling, like saying F you, like all these things that just needed to be let out, like given a chance. Um, and, um, <laughs> now this is another thing I want to say to you, cause I feel like there's so much to say. I'm trying to remember everything that I wanted to say in this, but like when you're expressing anger, you just need to be given the freedom to be able to. And I want you to know that it does not need to look any specific way. So I really want you, before you even try to do anything like this for yourself, I want you to really feel into like what your expectations are for expressing this. Like, do you feel like it needs to look like you have to punch a hole in the wall and break stuff or whatever? Or can you just like really just get it out, scream, like scream into a pillow, punch a couch, like whatever the hell, I don't know, who knows, right? And the only reason it has to get to this point where it's like this epic thing is because like we bottled it up. So the thing is like, once you discharge that, you discharged it, you know what I mean? And the thing is like, if we were living like how we were supposed to without resistance to how we felt in each moment from day one, like it would never get to the point where you need to do that, you know? But um, anyway, um, back to the story and back to the actual session, like 
things were like literally flung around. So this is this is the um, potential. This is what happened in this particular session with this particular trauma. So what I was trying to say with that was like it's going to look different for everyone. There's no right or wrong. It's just having the freedom to do it. So what gave him permission and what gave him freedom to release that? You know. Um, was by manifesting a beautiful situation where he didn't have anybody else in his house. It was just him. So like that gave him the freedom and permission to just let it organically out however it needed to go. Um, and that's just the course it took. Um, and it was beautiful. <laughs> like, and that's the thing too. It's like, I know the difference between like what's a conscious expression of that and what's not. You feel it. You just know it. And for me, like, even though I was, I was staying with him, you know, the whole time and being present, and like helping him through this, you know, a part of me to myself is sitting here going like this in my chair because I know like this is so good. We finally reached this breakthrough moment. Um, and here's the proof of how when you get into this and you let it out, like you move into a higher vibrational state because immediately after this is over, and this is another thing too, it's like, it doesn't need to last X amount of time. It's going to be different depending on like what you need to do and just allow yourself to do it. This didn't even last that long. This lasted like maybe not even 10 minutes of this just expression and screaming and yelling. You know what I mean? And then it was over. And then after he expressed it and, you know, let out those deep ass belly cries that you need to let out, um, he made his way back over to the laptop, um, which was, I don't know, flung across the room, you know? And we just sat for a second without even having words or having to do anything, you know? And like all that was needed was that discharge. Like there was no need to have to go in and do anything at that point because like that was what was needed. That was what was exactly stuck and needing to just get out, like discharge that crap, like, you know, let it go. Um, and immediately there was a higher vibrational state. Like maybe we didn't sit there and name the emotions for me to tell you like which one went up to what, but like within five, 10 minutes, he's like, you know, it feels really good if I, if I go make a smoothie, do you mind if I do that real quick? And then he did. And then we were like laughing and like feeling good. And honestly, we were going and reflecting and reflecting on, first of all, like the dynamic between his parents and just kind of seeing it now as this objective thing and not this personal thing. And also we were kind of reflecting on like, him being able to feel those accomplishments and, and the progress that he's made. And then he was like sitting here telling me like how amazing the things that are that he'd been doing after that journey, after that session. So I was just like, this is great. Like instant proof of what it does. <laughs> and now you have that permission and that proof behind your belt that you can feel not okay. That you just literally proved to yourself that you can do it. You've made it okay to not be okay and by virtue of doing that you've released yourself and unhooked yourself from all those years of suppression so oh so good you guys like this stuff is changing lives it's changing the world it starts with us it starts with one person um so good so thank you what is, i love that sweater thank you thank you thank you i like this too <laughs> um but yeah like and that's the important part of it too is to understand that like we all experience emotions, all of us, you know, like no one's exempt from this. And if we're struggling with that, like it's understandable why we would be based on like what we encountered in childhood. Of course we wouldn't be able to express that. And the other part that I wanted to touch on that I kind of bookmark, uh, bookmarked for now was like how awful it is that like we can't do this even in a conscious way around other people that don't get it. So whenever anyone screams or yells, you know, and like expresses that anger, like that guttural, you know, like, ah, like scream, like, what are your neighbors going to do? Are they going to call the cops on you? You know what I mean? Or like, are people going to come like, you know, freak out or panic or whatever? And it's because we live in a world where nobody's consciously expressing it. Everyone's unconsciously, subconsciously doing it. So of course, like everyone's going to be frightened and it sucks because like so many people live with other people. I mean, hello, we're like a tribal species. Like we need people. Of course we live with like, not all of us do, but like for the majority of us, like someone else lives in our house and not always do we have the luxury of living with somebody with a degree of, of consciousness that can understand what we're actually accomplishing here, you know? So it's like, 
it sucks because we don't even have the ability to do it because we're so afraid of like the reaction we're going to get from the people around us or even people we don't know people outside like are we going to have like you know police people knocking on our door what's going on in there you know and you're just trying to like let shit out and heal Ugh, like that's something that i get angry about and you know i'm feeling it right now i'm like well why can't we you know like that needs to change that needs to be rewritten and, and just shown in a different light you know so this is where it all starts you guys um if you haven't seen it yet on my page and also on my YouTube channel um, with Planet Ascension, like I was interviewed about the completion process. And within that, I made a really cool explanation that I want to share where basically like the question I was asked is like, well, how does doing this work, you know, affect the collective healing of everybody else? And I want you guys to imagine if like everyone's collective issues or shadow or suffering is like a pie, right? So I want you to imagine this, this suffering pie, however you want to see it. And every single human being represents a slice of it. So until you go and you eat up all the suffering within your own slice, it's still going to be there. So you have to really end the suffering within yourself and it affects the whole pie. And you know, like some people are going to eat it up faster, which means that we can now hold more space for everybody else that might not have done that yet. This is where it all begins, you guys. Like, it starts with one person, and the ripple effect is, like, profound. It is profound. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, anger sessions are my favorites. Cool, yeah. I mean, it's, like, such a release, you know? It's, like, cathartic almost, <laughs> you know? Um, See, so yeah, I'm glad you get what I'm saying. And, yeah, and then it goes to show you that, like, once you do it, it automatically lifts you up. It's just, it's this thing that just is, like, I have to get it out of me, you know? Um, so, like, you have permission to do that. You have my permission. I'm here to support you in that. And there are people, quite literally, that are here, hello, I'm one of them, that want to be here with you while you're feeling that way. I just listen and watch and witness this whole session of Rage, and I'm happy about it. You know, like there are people out there that want to be there with you and support you through it and, and understand like what's going to be waiting for you on the other side of it. That's what it is. So just know, um, completely agree. It spreads to the whole DNA of the universe. Totally true. Um, so Young says, so important what you're sharing. Thank you. I agree. Um, and you guys are more than welcome to share this or tag anybody in it if you feel that anybody else would benefit from this. You know, like I think this is something that really needs to get out there. Um, so I'm also going to open up real quick if anybody that's watching here with me while it's live um, has any questions or anything that you want to talk about while I'm here with you, um, please do. Like, I'm like fired up, as you know, so like I would love to talk more about this if anybody has like any topics they want to share or questions. Um, but just so you guys know, if you liked what I shared, be sure to reach out to me. Like, I have spaces open. You can reach me right here. Um, Facebook Messenger, planetascension.com. You can always find me. Um, and we'll do it. We'll get you where you need to be. Um, impossible is just an opinion. <laughs> um, Shmala says, how does a higher vibration feel for you? You said you can immediately feel it. Um, so it was, it was like on many levels actually. Like, do you mean like how I witnessed it within my client after that took place? Is that kind of what we're referring to specifically? Um, or do you mean like in my own body and my, as my own experience? I guess it wouldn't be that different either way, but like, you mean with my client? Yeah. So, um, what I noticed immediately was just like this lightness and like, I like, I really read into body language and like posture and it was just like this, like this, like what it looks like to feel like relief or like after you've gotten like the best massage of your life, like that's the body language that I was getting. And like, he was able to breathe so much deeper and just, just looked so much more calm and just like in his body, you know? Um, so that to me was, was my indication, um, that a relief pattern had begun. And then just following the series of events that took place afterwards to him wanting to do self care in terms of making himself a kick ass smoothie, um, was all the proof I needed to watch that unfold, you know? <laughs> so that was super freaking cool. Um, and I, 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 anybody can do this is what I really want to get the message out there too. You know, like anybody can do this. Um, and I get to, like, we live, like I mentioned, like, we are in situations and living situations where it's, like, freaking hard. Um, it's cool that he manifested that situation where he got the house to himself, but he was so committed that if that didn't happen, he was going to go um, buy an Airbnb somewhere for the night to do this. So, like, it, it's, there's a way. There's always a way. 
Um, Shmael says, oh my god, that's so awesome. I agree. I so agree. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, like, just make sure that, like, I'd be loud about this stuff because I feel like it needs to be talked about, you know? Um, this really doesn't need to be limited to a spiritual community. No, you're right. Um, oh, I guess I should just throw this in there, too, if you guys haven't heard already, um, but... My colleague and I, Jenna Lemire, who's also certified in this completion process too, um, next month um, on March 11th, we are going to be holding an online webinar essentially on how to feel. Um, and, the, and the important thing that we're, we're really saying um, about this webinar is that it's not just for spiritual people. It's not for like woo-woo, new age, metaphysical, you know, psychic, whatever you want to call it. It's for anybody. And the reason that is is because we're all human beings. Um, so the thing is, is like, we all have emotions and they're so important to understand. And that's something that, you know, society, this, this planet doesn't teach us. That's why we are the way we are. You know, like we don't have an idea about like what emotions are, where they come from, why they're important, what to do with them. Um, and that's what this is going to be all about. So if you guys want to learn how to feel, um, check out, it's a, it's a link. Maybe I'll leave it in the comments. It's bit.ly slash how to feel. And I would love to have you guys in there. My God. Um, so Young says, if your family is the source of your anger and you live with your family, that doesn't work in any way, does it? I'm thinking of a very dear friend of mine. Any advice? Well, this is actually the, the exact scenario that took place here. So the family was the source of my client's anger and he lives with them. Um, so the way that it was able to work was you have to give yourself the freedom in whatever way feels good for you to express it. So maybe one person might feel okay with letting this all out no matter who's home, but some other people might only feel that sense of freedom of expression when nobody's home or you're in a completely different environment. So for that, like you really need to tune into the individual self, yourself, and really feel into like, well, what needs do I have to have be met in order to let myself feel that freedom and then let yourself have it. Um, so that'd be the, the answer I have to that. John says, this is so good. I'll BRB. Cool. Um, well, I'm just going to kind of stay on here as long as there's questions. So if anybody else has any questions or comments or anything of the like, um, feel free to drop it now while it's live. And just can you guys, like I know my client's going to actually be watching this if he's not already on here. Um, so if you guys want to drop some in the comments, like whatever your favorite emojis are or words of encouragement to let him know like how big of a breakthrough this is how much of a pioneer and badass he is for doing this. Like, let's show some support for him in the comments right now, you guys. <laughs> and if you're here watching and you haven't said anything yet and you want to, like, say hi. We're all here together, you know? Like, let's just do this. You know, this applies to everyone. This applies to all of us. And like I said before, if you guys feel inspired to share this video, I would love that because I just want to get the word out. Um, and whatever, whatever feels good for you to do, if you want to tag anybody that you feel like needs to hear this, um, do it. Yeah, here we go. All the words of support. Look at those comments. Yes, I love it. Um, so yeah, if, unless anybody has any other questions, I'm probably going to sign off here. Um, with these Facebook Lives, what I like to do is uh, upload them also on my YouTube channel for rewatches in case anybody wants to see this again. Um, Jessica says, hi, hello. Um, and there's more support comments coming in. Oh yeah. Samantha says, if you become aware of your anger while it's happening, but feel powerless to change it, what is your advice? Well, what you want to do in that instance, Samantha, is you want to follow the feelings. So by virtue of you like first exploring anger, but then another layer comes up that keeps you from the anger, which is the powerlessness, then you have to deal with the powerlessness. Um, so once you melt through that layer of powerlessness, then you're going to be able to get into the anger. Um, and there's a whole plethora of ways that that can be done in the completion process or parts work. It's going to be like a phenomenal way to do that. So reach out if you have any questions on how to process that powerlessness. I'd love to help you out. Um, Dustin says, anger towards my parents and family is one of the toughest expressions for me to access to. So congrats, congrats, congrats. Totally, Dustin. And I'm not going to say that I've been perfect with that either. Like I have definitely had a hard times with that too. And only honestly more recently have I let myself do the same thing. And it's just like this, this ultimate freedom that like you can't describe in words or like compare to anything else. It's just like, ah. <laughs> I don't know how else to word it. Um, Jessica says, so happy to come across you, your work and this live video. Oh, thank you. I'm happy that you're here. 
Um, and I'm happy that you're with us, you know? You so belong here, Jessica. All of you that are here watching, we all belong together in this. We're all in this together. Um, and we all deserve to like let ourselves do what feels good or will promote the best life for us. And in this example, like we needed to release that in order to move forward and to like, um, what's the word? Like release the anchor, you know, like pick up the anchor so we're no longer stuck in it, you know? Um, that was really good. Thank you. Teal talked about powerlessness in a fairly recent video from one of the workshops. Cool. Um, if you want to, Shamila, if you have the link available to post in the comments for anyone, that would be super cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head off here. I thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. And oh man, just such a cool, cool session. So it's just fun to see like these successes and it's fun for me to share them with you. So thank you so much for being here with me and for listening and for being a part of this. And just by virtue, you know, of all of us being here and doing this, like we're making the change that we want. So it's happening. It's in motion. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, like I mentioned before, I've got spots available. Just reach out. Um, and I hope you guys have a really beautiful morning or day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.